Okay, today we're going to be covering World War One cavalry in full Technicolor. Hello, YouTubers. People often think of World War One not in colour, but in black and white film. So why disappoint them? Of course, lots of things in those days were, in fact, in colour, such as these sweetheart postcards and trade cards that were issued with many everyday household items, featuring army life, armoured vehicles, and don't forget the important role that women played on the home front, and the propaganda that persuaded people to fight in the first place, demonising and dehumanising the enemy so that it was easier to pull the trigger. And those big weapons of mass destruction. Horses didn't really stand a chance against those big bad boys. Welcome to the Perfection Selection of Green McCards TV. <laughs> If you like World War One history, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to click the like button to preserve the memory of all those brave soldiers that died in World War One for future generations. In the Vietnam War, troops often took drugs to help them cope with the difficulties they faced every day. But in World War One, the, the drug of choice was the humble cigarette. So what better way to tell the World War I story than on cigarette cards that were issued in cigarette packets at that time. And here we have a set of cavalry regiment, regimental uniforms issued towards the beginning of the First World War. Some of the time I'll split the screen in two so that you can see both the beautiful illustrations on the fronts and the detailed descriptions on the backs at the same time. Please feel free uh, to pause the video if you want more time to read the backs. The back of this particular card really sets the scene. It says, during the German advance upon Brussels in August 1914, a detachment of Lancers, about 300 strong, made a sortie upon the Germans. Before they'd gone just a thousand yards, the enemy opened fire with their machine guns, and only about a dozen of them returned. It now seems crazy to think that they were still using cavalry regiments in World War I. In Hollywood, Wild West movies, uh, there's often that kind of image of the cavalry coming over the horizon, turning up at the very last minute to save the day. But horses were no match against machine gun fire. Giant guns like these, poisonous gas and barbed wire. One estimate says that up to 6 million horses died in World War I. This was a very new war, and yet they were still using some old tactics that dated back as far as the Napoleonic Wars. Firepower technology had far outpaced transportation, which led to a bit of a mishmash between the old and the new. Here are some cars of army life that were issued just a few years before the Great War started. And this is a classic card that features 20th century jousting, believe it or not, that really puts things into perspective. Even though the motor car had been around for several decades, for at least a couple of decades, it had not been perfected enough to cope with rough terrain, the rough terrain on the battlefield. As seen on these military motor uh, vehicle cards, they were furiously experimenting with lots of vehicle designs, hoping to solve that problem. Many of which, obviously, wouldn't work in practice. But ultimately, their efforts led to the development of the first ever working military tanks towards the end of the war. Here's my favourite card, the horse ambulance. On the back it says, in France, during the early stages of the war, it was quickly recognised by the authorities that exceptional arrangements would have to be made to cope with the great mortality that was taking place amongst the poor wounded horses. Now that you've seen that video, you might want to complete the series. Click on the first video to find out about the deadliest World War I weapon, mass propaganda. Click on the second vid to see some of the biggest World War I guns. And click on the third video to see the largest collection of World War I armoured vehicles on YouTube and the precursor to the tank. And click on the fourth video to find out about the often overlooked but incredibly important role women played in World War One.